If you feel a dark presence when you are around a pathological narcissist, then you are not going crazy because that is exactly what you are dealing with. So we have a really good comment here. So with my mom, it's her voice, ex-husband, it is his presence, big sister, her proximity. When they are near, they distress my soul. As human beings, we are electromagnetic. So we are either sending or receiving energy. We are also predominantly energy and actually predominantly not physical. So we are spirit operating a human body with access to different tools such as our mind power, our willpower, and our emotions. At our core, however, we are spirit. So if you get in close proximity to someone and they make you feel distress, anxiety, or you get a gut reaction that something is off, then do not be mistaken. There is a palpable dark presence that travels with pathological narcissists, and that is because they are predominantly dark energy. They have to feed on your positive vibrations and your good energy because they really do not have that themselves. You are dealing with someone that is predominantly dark energy and they're looking for a new light source. You are the light. You are the source. You are source energy. You are consciousness. You are energy. You are prana. So when you encounter an energy vampire, then they really are trying to plug into you because they do not have that energy within to give themselves. So they have to look it from the without, right? If they can't get it inside, they're going to get it outside. This is why if you are around pathological narcissists for a long time, they will leave you drained. You may experience symptoms of anxiety, depression, so they may dysregulate your mood. You may experience different bodily aches and pains, you know, headaches, migraines, uh, stomach issues. You could have a very severe brain fog. And another main one that you most likely will experience is a loss of sense of self. This is because they're also draining you. They're draining your source. They're draining your source energy. So what happens if you get entangled with someone with an energetic level, their light source at 10%? You will also have to get down to 10% because they are not able to raise their vibration. Right? Water meets its level. So since they are not able to ascend, then you must descend. You must pour into them. And you're actually pouring into a black hole. This is why nothing you do will ever be good enough. You are pouring into a bucket that is filled with holes. You are dealing with people with their energetic vibration in a very low state. This is why you always hear me state that pathological narcissists are people that are rooted in shame and they are unable to move past their pride. So they're filled with negative energy. And that is the negative energy that you are picking up on. Again, pathological narcissists have low vibration energy. So if they're at 10%, you have to descend down here into the third dimension or into victim abuser consciousness with them. And this is why they always need different people for their abuse cycles. They are feeding on other people because they cannot generate that energy on their own. It is important to understand that what you think is a mutually beneficial relationship is an entanglement. You are in an abuse cycle. Pathological narcissists do not get into mutually beneficial relationships with people. They get into various abuse cycles. It is a cycle of love bombing or what you call idealization where they will shower you with gifts, compliments, etc. to eventually let you drop your guard so that they can devalue you. And in the devalue stage is where the verbal abuse comes in, the psychological abuse, the emotional uh, guilt tripping. There may even be physical abuse. And oftentimes either you will end the relationship or they will discard you. Because again, there's not really an end. This is an abuse cycle. And after the discard, oftentimes they will try to hoover their victims back to suck their victims back into this abusive cycle so that they can drain more energy from you. 
these types of relationships are very parasitic, very draining and very damaging because they really are sucking the life out of you. The only way to really get to peace is to get the courage to walk away and stay away. As always, wonderful souls, if you appreciate the content, please give us a like, share and subscribe. Go ahead and save the videos. And if you have any questions or feedback, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll catch you in the next video.